Hello, my name is Joe Farley. I'm the principal life coach here at Friends of Fathers, where we are strengthening men and empowering fathers. Our disclaimer today is just to let you know, of course, that this is not legal advice or legal direction. We are a men's life coach company helping fathers to address their issues when they're navigating the front of the court. Again, our model is about strengthening men and empowering fathers. And we say that because a lot of fathers have been challenged with the challenges of dealing with the friend of the court. So we, we basically try to strengthen our fathers so therefore they can be empowered to address their issues when they are navigating through the friend of the court. Our mission here at Friends of Fathers is to help the fathers in reference to education, advocate, and providing resource services to help enhance the quality of life for the fathers in their home and also in their community. We say inside their homes because sometimes some fathers are basically in another relationship and their past relationship, unfortunately, when they happen to pay child support more than what they can afford, ends up actually interrupting their abilities to, uh, to address their issues when they're having to uh, take care of their financial needs at their new home. So therefore, what we do, we help the fathers in reference to coming, be, becoming self-sufficient and supportive to their children and their family. We say children and families because sometimes some fathers may have more than one child than um, just basically by more than one mother. So therefore they have multiple ch cases. So therefore we show them how to articulate that information when they go to address their issues with the friend of the court. This here uh, helped them actually become more self-sufficient because if they actually have more than one case and they have one charge $500, one is $300, one is $200, they will want it to be a little bit more manageable so all of their children can actually get their financial need that is necessary. So with Friends of Fathers, what we do, we have you come in for a one-on-one -on -one assessment. That one-on-one -on -one assessment is designed to address your particular issues that's impacting you at work, at home, and also in your community. Again, we say inside your community too because sometimes some fathers may have an issue for a bench warrant because unfortunately they have missed the show cause. By the way, that is one of the major reasons why most men have a bench warrant in reference to their friend of the court issues because they miss their, their court appointed um, time, their court appointment because unfortunately their address is not updated, rather went to their old address or perhaps even went to their mother's address which is where most of us have our um, address forwarded to. But in reference to our assessment, you come in basically bringing in all your documentation uh, dealing with the friend of the court so that we can take a look at what his friend of the court is saying to you. Likewise, to hear what you're saying in reference to what you'd like to say to the friend of the court. Also, in reference to putting all that information together, we are customize that approach by addressing all of the issues that you may have. That would empower us to create what we call a plan of action. The plan of action is what you pay for because your plan of action is a one, two, three step on what needs to be done to address your particular issue. Again, we are men life coaches. We coach you through this because we have experience in, in reference to dealing with the front of the court ourselves. So, again, our major concern is basically helping fathers become educated about the process of navigating through the front of the court from a layman's point of view. Likewise, we also have workshops and seminars dealing with front of the court issues, whether it's dealing with your parenting time, uh, where you basically sometimes you don't get a chance to see your parents, your children, I'm sorry because unfortunately you haven't been paying the right amount for your child support because the mother says well since you're not paying you're not seeing your child well to let you know one does not have anything to do with the other parenting a child is very important for a father to be involved in children's lives so therefore we show you how to create a parenting plan as well through our uh, workshop for a parenting time workshop likewise we'd like to help you in reference to addressing your child support amount so therefore you can pay the amount of money that you can afford to pay for it based on your income and your abilities to pay. So therefore, that's kind of like a summary of what we do. We also have our employability skills program where we basically show you how to build a resume, uh, give you uh, interview techniques for uh, when you go out to interview for a job. Likewise, help you in reference to entrepreneurship. Unfortunately, due to the economy, a lot of people just don't have the ability or have uh, jobs that they can go to. So what we try to do is tap into your God-given talent in reference to your abilities to start your own business, whether it's resume writing, or perhaps even being a barber, or perhaps even being an engineer and having your own engineering company. So we'll help you set up those particular uh, entities so therefore you can actually go out there to start your own business. 
Today, specifically, I'm just going to concentrate on the most important questions that most fathers do not um, ask in reference to navigating through the friend of the court. What we have done inside of our package here, which is your friend of the court, friends of fathers package addressing the friend of the court issues, we have put basically together a package that will tell you about what you need to ask when you're navigating through the friend of the court. One of the most important questions, of course, is that the first one is, do I have a warrant? And if I do, why? And when was it issued? This is very important because, again, you may have had your address uh, moved to a new, you moved to another location, or it has your mother's address or your old girlfriend's address or wherever you may have lived in the past. So, therefore, when it was a, a show cause for you to come to court, what you have done is not get the information because you didn't update your information with the friend of the court, which, by the way, is mandated that you do that. Uh, make sure that they have the correct address, your contact information. So therefore, you will know when you have a court hearing. Or just information to let you know that it's time for a review. And that's in another episode where we'll talk about how you can actually require or request a 36-month review. The next one is most important as well. This is a reference to your total uh, arrears. That means your back child support. How much is my back child support? How much do I owe? And, this, and the third question is, now that I know the total amount of what is owed on my arrears, who do I owe it to? Do I owe it to the mother? Matter of fact, you ask the question to the friend of the court representative. How much do I owe to the mother? How much do I owe to the state? And how much do I owe to the medical? Those different categories actually will position us to help you in reference to coaching you on what you need to do to address those particular issues. Likewise, we also ask the question, if you have minor children, how much is my back child support monthly fee? Okay, because if you owe in arrears, they also want you to pay that arrears. And of course, that can't be paid unless you pay your child support first. So, most important question again, you have to ask, how much is my monthly child support amount? Now, if they say it's $500 and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, $500? I'm only making $500 a week. So therefore, if you have arrears of $40,000 because unfortunately the back child support is built up based on that they still think you're probably making all that big money when you used to work for an automotive company. And unfortunately now you're working, um, you're really unemployed or underemployed and working with a uh, job that's paying you less. So we look at those particular uh, categories to find out. That's why we have to ask those questions. And then also, which, which is most important, is what is my parenting time? Now, the parenting time information is sometimes not um, accessible via the customer service department. Therefore, you might have to get a, your child support order. Now, your child support order is very important. Your child support order will tell you what your child support is supposed to be, what your custody is, and also what is your detailed parenting time. A lot of fathers have settled for whatever is reasonable. Whatever is reasonable, that means that unfortunately that you and the mother are supposed to come together in reference to deciding how often will you be able to parent your children, not visit your children. In the older days, they used to have visitation, but now they're more concentrating on parenting time because when you have your children, that's not a visitation. This is not leisure time. This is your time actually to parent your children. So, therefore, you must look into your uh, child support order because it will tell you de detailed information. Okay? Now the other thing that's most important for the most important questions here is asking, can I have, could you mail me a payment history from the beginning of my case to the present? Now what that would tell you is actually how much they were charging you for child support and how much were you paying. And I know some of you probably haven't paid um, a little or probably none. Unfortunately, some of us actually end up paying the mother directly. And that's a very, that's, that's a no-no. You're not supposed to do that. You have a bill with the friend of the court. You're supposed to pay the friend of the court, not the mother. I know some mothers probably say, hey, you haven't paid me lately, and you're not seeing little Johnny, little Sally. But that is not the process. If you have a child support order, you're supposed to pay FOC, child's friend of the court. So therefore, you need to find out all of the information that I said in reference to the most important questions. Now. Having this information will position you to know what you need to do, whether it's to modify your child support or to address the child support arrears, which is probably a payment plan, or perhaps give you an opportunity to talk to the mother and say, hey, this amount of money that I owe you is not actual. So could you actually help me out on this? 
there's a number of different things that we can help you with that as well. But again, my name is Joe Farley. I'm the Principal Life Coach here at Friends of Fathers, where we are helping fathers navigate through the front of the court, likewise strengthening them and empowering them to be the fathers that they desire to be. Remember, you can contact us via the website at friendsoffathers.org. That's www.friendsoffathers.org. Or you can contact us via the phone at 313-983-0044. Again, the number is 313-983-0044. And you can also email us at admin at friendsoffathers.org. That's admin, A-D-M-I-N, at friendsoffathers.org. Again, my name is Joe Farley. I'm the Principal Life Coach at Friends of Fathers, where we are strengthening men and empowering fathers. Have a great day.